Hey gang, Peter Scott here. I wanted to shoot this video uh, as an answer to one of our students' questions. Alex asks, how do you overcome the price objection? How do you overcome the money objection? This is a great question, so I thought I'd shoot a video so that every single one of you can benefit from this. So know, number one, Alex, and the rest of you watching this, that if someone's objecting on price, they actually are not objecting on money. What they're objecting on is value. The bottom line is they simply don't see the value in your coaching, period. I know that there are some people that have zero resources, and I totally respect that those people may find it more challenging to invest in hiring you as a coach. However, what I know is that you actually don't need to have resources to hire a coach. Why? Because that's where I was when I hired my first mentor, right? Five years ago when I launched my coaching business, I went $20,000 into debt overnight. Literally, I got fired from my job. I lost my sole source of income and I became resourceful. I borrowed money from family, which wasn't much, maybe five grand, and I went about $15,000 in the credit card debt. So number one, I just have the mindset, Alex, that I don't accept the excuse of I don't have the money. I respect it, but I don't accept it. So I just want you to know that. What could be happening is there's two areas where you could be losing people. One could be in the marketing that attracts the lead to the call in the first place, and two is how you run your calls. So know that since you just started the Six Figure Coach Launchpad program recently, you haven't fully developed your automated marketing system in a way that not only attracts the qualified leads and defers the unqualified, but it also warms those leads up to an eight, nine, or 10, so that by the time they get on the phone with you, they are literally ready to do anything to hire you as their coach. Right now, you're just starting your journey, so you don't have that built. So know that that's gonna help you. Now let's talk about the enrollment conversation and what to do when you experience the price objection. So I wrote some notes here, so just so I can give you some really good feedback. Um, so here's one thing that you could do. Number one, you want to think about how can you overcome the objections before they're even stated. That's the thing that I want you to be aware of, Alex. You must do that because if you don't handle the objection up front, then it's gonna come at the end and you will waste that entire time, whether it's 45 minutes or an hour. So when finding out this prospect's biggest challenge, their biggest obstacle of what they think they need to achieve their goal, and I know you're a health and fitness coach, so what they think they need to achieve their goal, you wanna make sure to find out what, they're, what they are trying or what they have already tried in the past and why it didn't work. The reason why this is so important is because it reestablishes why you are on the call with them in the first place and it eliminates the status quo as an option. Know that they, they came to that call with you because they are in pain, because they're suffering, because no matter what, they can't lose the weight or increase the energy, or feel more confident, whatever the benefit is, they can't do it on their own. So you need to help them realize that they have tried this and they've tried that, and here's why it didn't work, and here's what they did, so that they know that they no longer have an option. Status quo is not an option for them to achieve their results. So that's number one. You wanna do that through your languaging. Since you haven't been trained on this yet, know that inside the Six Figure Coach Launchpad program, you will be taught my effortless enrollment framework. So as long as you follow the effortless enrollment framework, you'll know exactly what questions to ask to, to basically overcome the objection before it even happens. Second thing is you don't want to speak in general, generalities. You always want to tie in a specific story because stories make them feel more believable versus false promises to win the sale. So instead of offering a general uh, generality, right, of how you could help them lose weight, share a specific story of a past client of yours and paint a picture of their journey. Describe in detail where they were when they started, where they were when they ended, and how they got from point A to point B. The psychology behind doing this, Alex, is helping pull this person into that story and that success story of your client so that they see themselves in that story. Not only is this a, not, you know, this is more than just a promise, this is proof. There's proof that they can achieve, you know, solve the problem that they're struggling with and that you can help them get the result that they want. So focus less on generalities 
and more on specific success stories of your past clients. If you don't have a lot of those, then that's what you're in this six figure coach launch pad program to create more of. Okay. The third thing is that during this objection, um, it's really important that you take, uh, actually one other thing I want to share with you. One of the big sticking points could be the way you present your offer. And so know that inside this program, you'll be taught what's called the irresistible offer. And this is a structured framework where you make your offer using what's called the six magic pills. I learned this from my mentor Taki. And so I want to credit him for that. Um, and you'll learn exactly how to position and present your offer so that the value is 10 times the amount that you're asking them to invest. So that means if you're asking them to invest $10,000, then the value of that is gonna be $100,000. So make sure if you haven't yet to go down into the Fearless Coach Academy and watch the irresistible offer. All of the enrollment, all of the enrollment trainings are under the section called audition clients. So that's a really big one, okay? The third thing that I want you to do is I want you to take the role of a trusted advisor. The moment you challenge your client and you feel like you're across the desk from them or across the table, they are gonna feel like you're an adversary. And if you push them with your energy, they are going to push back and they're gonna pull away. And so what you wanna do is be that trusted advisor for them. How can you help them? How can you help guide them step by step from the painful prison that they're in to the pleasurable paradise that they want to be in? That's not only with what you say, but it's also how you say it. So know that you'll learn how to do that in the training modules. The last thing I would say is that you want to offer an incentive. What I do is I always offer what I call a fast action scholarship. And this isn't some manipulative sales tactic. The reason I offer it is because I only want fast action takers in the program. And you know, if somebody can commit to, to hiring you quickly, then guess what? That means that they're gonna to commit to implementing your coaching quickly and get results quickly. If they drag their feet, if they need to think about it, if they need to check this and they need to talk to that person, then they're gonna be a nightmare client. And trust me, I've done this long enough to know that that happens over and over again. So reward them with a fast action scholarship. Say, you know, normally the investment for my coaching is, and I'm just pulling these numbers out of thin air. Let's say the normal investment for the coaching is $10,000. However, if you decide during this initial conversation, we offer you a $4,000 scholarship. So it's only 6K instead of 10,000. Right there, you've incentivized them to commit. And by doing that, they are going to, again, feel the value of the program, see that it's worth 10,000, but have an option for them to decide in that moment at only 6,000. And you wanna reward them for that. And if they say, you know what, Alex, I'm totally interested, I just need to think about it a little bit more, say, totally respect that, take as much time as you need to think about that, just know that when you come back to me tomorrow or this weekend or next week, it's just gonna be the normal 10,000. And just hold to your word there. You know, maintain integrity, really, really important. And let them know, listen, I understand that it feels like a lot of money right now. Um, you know, you can take the next few months to see if you can make more money and, and come back and work with me. Just know that every 90 days I increase my pricing, which is true. Every 90 days for the last year, I've increased my pricing and I'll continue to. Why? Because we as coaches are becoming better. We are becoming more valuable. You want to reward the students that see the value of that now and take fast action to work with you. So those are some of the things that you must do. The last thing I would say, Alex, is really reconnect them to what it's costing them. Literally, what it's costing them in their wallet, in their bank account, to be suffering with the problem they're struggling with. For me, it's easy to come up with that tangible number, right? I coach coaches, so I help coaches go from zero to six figures. If they're making $5,000 a month right now and they wanna make $20,000 a month, then that's costing them $15,000 a month. With your niche around health and fitness coaching, it's a little bit more challenging, but know that I started my business as a health and fitness coach. So what you do is you ask them, what is neglecting their health costing their relationship? What is neglecting their health costing their you know, productivity in their career? These are tangible numbers, and I can guarantee you that when they see it, when you hold up a mirror for your client to see their reality, guess what? They are gonna be shocked at how they can't do this on their own, and they're gonna see that your coaching is way more valuable than the simple price that you're asking for them to invest.
So I'd love to hear your thoughts, Alex. If any of you, uh, any of the rest of you that are watching this have questions, go ahead and comment below. Um, or if you have feedback, go ahead and comment below. But I just wanted to share with you my thought process and some of my frameworks to help you overcome that objection of money. The last thing, Alex, is obviously make sure to go through the effortless enrollment framework, the effortless enrollment rehearsal, the irresistible offer, and the brainstorm call. Those are the four sales training videos under the audition client section in the, in the Six Figure Coach Launchpad. My name is Peter Scott, reminding you to be here, act now, and fear less.